Hello. In this session, we'll be writing a simple HLSL code in a custom node to create a material that can linearly interpolate between three textures based on a given value. The custom material expression allows you to craft your own HLSL shader script, working with a flexible number of inputs and delivering the outcome of the procedure. First, we'll create the material. Next, create three texture object nodes and set your desired texture for each. In this video, we'll be using textures provided in the engine content. Then, create a text chord node to set the texture's UV, and while pressing the one key on your keyboard, click to create a constant node, which will serve as the basis value for linear interpolation. Now, create a custom node where we'll write the HLSL code. In the code text box of the custom node, write the code to display the texture, just as shown in the video. Click on Add Element in Inputs to set the texture and UV that will be received by the custom node. Once you name the input nodes, pins will appear on the custom node. Connect these pins to the texture object nodes and the text chord node, as shown in the video, to supply values to the code written in the custom node. Connect the output pin of the custom node to the material's emissive color to see the texture output. To add two more textures, Copy and paste the previously written texture display code twice and change the variable numbers in the copied codes. Next, add text2 and text3 inputs and add t to set the linear interpolation value. Once you've set up the inputs, connect the remaining nodes to the pins of the custom node as shown in the video. In the code text box, press Shift plus Enter to start a new line. Write an if statement as shown in the video that determines true and false conditions. This statement makes linear interpolation between texture A and B when the value is between 0 and 1. After writing the if statement, adjust the constant value, and you will see textures A and B linearly interpolate based on the value. Next, write an else if statement following the previous if statement, just as shown in the video. This statement ensures that when the value of t is between 1 and 2, textures b and c will linearly interpolate. Now, by adjusting the constant value between 0 and 2, you can see all three textures linearly interpolating based on the value.